Hey everyone, do you struggle to type in we were primitives? Cause I sure do. I mean, the guy who maintains the we were keypad can't even get the colors right. And I've got to sit here with my mouse and click on these buttons one at a time. What if there was a better way? Imagine if all you had to do was talk into the microphone and the glyphs would just appear. Let's unmute my microphone and see. Reduce ad, save. Look at that. Oops, backspace, backspace, four strand, five strand, six, enter, enter, add, save, backspace, under reversed first, home, oops, under reversed first, home, save, multiply, save, home, reduce add, save. I mean, come on, that's pretty good, hey? That's pretty good. How good is that? Oh. Plong today and you too can whisper sweet weeweisms to your computer like a crazy person. Just in case you're not entirely convinced that the voice recognition is good enough, let's try right out this function. Drop one group box multiply not dip function, add one scan add, end, duplicate find dip duplicate. <laughs> it's good, eh? So the process to get this working is you do have to install this free but not open source piece of software called Talon. It seems to have a great community around it, but I'd love it more if I could see the source code. Anyway, if you YOLO it and download for Windows or your platform of choice and then follow the installer, the next thing that you have to do is head on over to GitHub. Once you're over on GitHub, just navigate on over to weware-talon. And then if you scroll down, the readme has some more instructions for how to install Talon and get things up and running. It basically involves just navigating on over to .talon user uh, or on Windows in your app data slash Talon slash user. Cloning this Git repository straight into that folder is fine. You then restart Talon, open a text editor, make sure your mic is switched on and say some stuff. Um, it's important to note that there are a crap ton of instructions to do with the installing of Talon. I definitely want you to make sure that you install the um, speech recognition engine because when it's first installed, it's not there. You have to click some more buttons to install the engine. It doesn't tell you that it's not installed. It just does nothing. The next thing to note is that all the instructions will tell you to install the Talon user file set, which is another GitHub repository full of scripts for Talon. I recommend that you don't do that. And the reason is I haven't checked for any conflicts between this WeWork configuration for Talon and the default community Talon instruction set. If you install them both, it probably will work, but like there might be some conflicting words. Plus it takes hours to learn how to use the default set works. For, for the WeWork one, it's just, it's always listening. It doesn't have modes and it just inputs the glyphs that you say. Like, it's very uncomplicated. Um, maybe some of you guys can improve it. The other important notes are that Weaver actually has some words in it, some names of the primitives, which are too similar. So bind and binding, you're going to really struggle to distinguish between the two. And so I think uh, probably we need to change one of them. So binding probably needs to be changed to a sign so that you can say it. Otherwise, it's, yeah, it's just too similar. The other thing is uh, the circle sign and the polarity sign are the same word. <laughs> I think one of these needs to be changed to like sign of. Um, if you want to see what I've done to kind of make it work, just go into We Were Glyph Lookup. And over here is basically the English word that you say and then the glyph that will be put out. Um, so some of them I've like replicated. So you could just say dupe instead of duplicate. Uh, and instead of addition, it's just add. Uh, I've got both mull and multiply, div and divide. 
Uh, modulus could probably be changed to mod if you wanted. Uh, greater than or equal to is kind of difficult to say, so I changed it to greater equal. Um, yeah, I mean, you can customize these very easily to make it make sense for you. And I really hope that you'll give it a go because, like, it's so cool. Like, just you don't have to touch the keyboard. It's so quick. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a deep rabbit hole, though. Like, if, if you've watched this, um, I'll put another link in the description to a programming input method called cursorless which lets you just do all kinds of programming without a um without touching the keyboard i haven't tried it uh but it's something that i'm now very interested in because now that voice recognition is actually good in 2023 there's like this whole new world of of what can we input like it doesn't have to just be what we can reach on a normal qwerty keyboard Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.